Hi, I'm Steve, and this is a guitar lesson for beginners on how to play the B chord. Uh, the B chord is just like the A chord, except you're moving it up two frets. Uh, by the way, if you haven't seen my other video called Frets, Fingers, and Strings, uh, I explain how there are numbered frets up and down the neck, one, two, three, four, etc. There are four fingers, one, two, three, four, and you have six strings. The one there towards the floor is the first string, and that's the sixth string. So here we go. So to play the B chord, the first thing you want to do is put your first finger on the second fret on the fifth string. Now, we're not going to play that sixth string uh, for now. So we're going to play the first finger on the second fret on the fifth string. Now, where it gets a bit hard here is you have to figure out how to play the second um, string the third and the fourth strings on the fourth fret. So again, second string, third string, and fourth string on the fourth fret. Now, because the B is very similar in shape to the A, if you watch my other video uh, on the A, you'll see that you can play it with two fingers, or you can play it with three fingers. So take your pick. The problem is if you put uh, three fingers on that fret, now you've used up this first finger, and you need to play that second string, fifth, uh, sorry, second fret, first finger, fifth string on the, to, play, to play the B chord. So again, you've got to play that, and you have to figure out a way to play those notes. So what most people do, what some people do, is they put one finger right there, uh, first finger, second fret, fifth string, and they take two fingers, their second and third fingers, put them on the fourth fret on the fourth, third, and second strings. Now, that creates sort of a cramp kind of position right there in your hand. Other people use all uh, their pinky right there, but you still end up having to stretch to get that first finger. Um, but it's possible. But what most people do is they do what's called barring with their fingers. They use like a bar, it's called a bar chord. So you use your first finger and you just sort of lay it across the second fret. So technically I'm playing all the notes, but what I do is I take my third finger and I put it on the fourth fret on the fourth, third, and second strings. I'm also laying it across the first string, but I don't really play that. So in other words, for now, I'll take my third finger and I'm putting it on the fourth fret on the fourth, third, and second strings. I bring that first finger back to the second fret on the fifth string. Now I've got my B. It's really the basic part of the B. So again, first finger, second fret, fifth string, and then third finger across the fourth, third, and second strings on the fourth fret. Now technically I'm not playing the full B chord. If I wanted to, I'd have to include this note up here. And that's where that bar chord, some people do this. They put their whole finger, but then they take this one and somehow use two fingers. So I've been playing for like 30 years and I can't even really do that well or reliably. So what I just do is I do that right there. You notice I accidentally hit that high E. You gotta be careful not to do that. Sounds okay, but it's not really part of the B chord. So what you can do is start to lift this finger up a little bit, um, just a little bit so that it mutes that first finger, that first string. But basically, if you sort of stick in that middle section of four strings when you play that, you're good. Now what's really cool is because you've done that, you've learned a bar chord. And you can start to take that same shape and go, other places on the fretboard. So for example, here I am on the second and fourth frets. Well, if I move both of those up three frets, two more, and back down. Pretty cool, so watch this. Really cool. You can go anywhere you want, you go.
anywhere you want. You're using the B chord and you're just moving it up and down the fretboard. So it opens up a lot of possibilities. Um, last thing I'll show you is some people use their thumb. They don't worry about that top note, or maybe they do with their, their finger, but they use their thumb. And that some people find that great, some people find it hard. I'll probably make another video at some point on how to use your thumb on chords. So anyway, I hope that's helpful. If it was, like and subscribe, and check out my other videos on all the different chords and a bunch more lessons for beginners, uh, intermediate, and advanced players. Thanks, see ya.